this is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It says, For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. Yahweh did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. All right, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shakti from the Chicago camp, coming back to you with what I hope is another quick and edifying sit down. Once again, this is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It says, Thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Yahweh did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. And this precept was inspired by a comment that... Uh, some person left on my video in response to the uh, opioid epidemic numbers being manipulated by bad Uncle Esau. All right, this person is Libra Richardson. And I don't know if this is a he or a she, but whoever this person is, they left really, some really bugged out comments on the video. And the one that I want to address in particular is the first one. And it says, deception is not a bliss in these times that we are living in. There will be no segregation in heaven, period. This Lisa Cabrera character, as far as I'm concerned, is a witch. All right. Whoever, like I said, whoever this Libra Richardson person is, they, they sound like a complete bug out scoffer. Now, maybe I could be wrong on this, but as far as what I have to go on, this person sounds like a bugged out scoffer saying that there'll be no segregation in heaven. There's segregation pre-kingdom. I just read to you in Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter in the sixth verse. All right. One more time. It says... For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right. And let's look up that word special. Strong's H, 5459. Segala. Segala. All right. Sagala, it says possession, property, value, property, peculiar treasure. All right. Strong's definition says wealth, jewel, peculiar treasure, proper, good, special. So the Lord has chosen Israel to be his peculiar treasure. All right. Doesn't the scripture say that we are a peculiar people? Isn't that also why the Lord calls us his inheritance? Isn't a treasure an inheritance? Hey, man, uh, let me get that real quick. Peculiar people. Whew. Man. Man. You know what? I'm going to just read all of these. I was, wow. It says, this is Exodus 19 and 5. It says, now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Value property, peculiar treasure. So that means. Ye shall be a special, that means it says, then ye shall be special unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Because you remember that word special in Deuteronomy 7 and 6 was Sagalah. And the breakdown 
was peculiar treasure. And we're reading the same thing in Exodus 19 and 5. All right. Let me read that again. It says, Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Deuteronomy 14 and 2. For thou art a holy people unto Yahweh thy power, and Yahweh have chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all nations that are upon the earth. Deuteronomy 26 and 18. And Yahweh have avouched thee this day to be his peculiar people as he hath promised thee, and thou and that thou shouldest keep all his commandments. Titus 2 and 14. Who gave himself for us, this is talking about Yahweh Shai, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people. Zealous of good works. First Peter 2 and 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praise of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So already, right, I mean, I could stop the lesson right here. Because clearly this tells you that there is a distinction and a clear uh, uh, idea of separation and segregation amongst the nations, particularly the children of Israel amongst all the other nations. So I don't know what this Libra Richardson is talking about, how there's not going to be any segregation in heaven. All right, there's already segregation pre-kingdom. And to back that up, we're going to go to Ezekiel 34, because that that, that's madness. There's not going to be any separate segregation in the kingdom. Let me get that. This is Ezekiel 34 and 11. It says, and see, this is a prophecy that has not happened, but it's going to happen. It says, for thus saith the Howard Power, behold, I even I will both search my sheep and seek them out. And we know the sheep is talking about Israel. When you go to the book of Matthew, it says, don't go to the place of the Samaritans, but into the lost sheep of Israel. Didn't he ask Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep? It's talking about Israel. Let's continue. And it says, as a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep and will deliver them out of all the places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. Because you have to remember part of the curses was that we would be scattered to the four corners of the earth. Not only that, there would be a great falling away where we would forget who we were. All right. And it says, I will bring them out from the people and gather them from the countries and will bring them to their own land and feed them upon the mountains of Israel by the rivers and in all the inhabited places of the country. This hasn't happened yet because we're still in captivity. So this lets you know that this is going to be a future prophecy in which this Libra Richardson calls heaven, which is the kingdom. Okay. But this is letting you know that the Lord is going to take us away from all these other people and we're going to get put in our own land, not in everybody else's land, in our own land. That sounds very segregated. And I'm going to continue. It says, I will feed them in a good pasture and upon the high mountains of Israel shall their fold be there. Shall they lie in a good fold and in a fat pasture? Shall they feed upon the mountains of Israel? Where are the other nations in this? It didn't say anything about Moab. Didn't say nothing about Edom, Ham, Elam, Ishmael, Asher. Didn't didn't say. Any, any, anything about them. 
in the kingdom of heaven, there's going to be a clear line of segregation and separation between the nation of Israel and all the other nations. And the final precept I'm going to go to is uh, in Revelation. Uh, Let me see, 12, let's see, 12 gates. All right, this is Revelation 21 and 12. Uh, no, this is not it. Let me do, uh, 12 tribes. That might be the better way to put it in. I know it is in Revelation, though. Hmm. I guess that is it. Revelation 21 and 12. And had a wall great and high and had 12 gates and at the 12 gates, 12 angels and names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's a... Uh, that's pretty specific, and we all know who the 12 tribes of Israel are. You got Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Issachar, Simeon, Naphtali, Reuben, Gad, and so on. Okay? Those are the 12 tribes of Israel. So that clearly lets you know there's going to be a segregation and a separation between the 12 tribes of Israel and all the other nations. Because if it wasn't, the Bible would say so. It would tell you there would be a tri there would be a gate for Ham. There would be a, a, a gate for uh, Ishmael. There would be a gate for Esau Edom. So on and so forth. So this uh, Libra, Libra Richards, whoever you are, I, uh, I hope that you seriously sit down and, you know, reapply yourself to understanding the scripture correctly as it is written and taught because according to your comments you clearly show that you are a bugged out scoffer all right and lisa cabrera is not a witch she is an israelite that woman's spirit is definitely that of an israelite and that lesson that I did that involved her video, I don't know what a transsexual has, has to do with the opioid epidemic, but that, that might just be for a whole nother topic. So nonetheless, you know, I just wanted to uh, address this common board scoffer, you know, uh, Not that I want to shine too much light on this person, but, you know, this is mainly for the elect and for those people that, me, that might be just coming into this truth who will be part of the great and mass influx of people who will be having to teach in the very near future. 
So with that being said, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostle elders, the great millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. With that, we're going to say Shalom.